I love the way the camera makes my skin look. I know, you glow. You literally glow always. <laughs> Stop that. It's because I'm around you. But I like a little glazed donut, don't I? Okay, no. About the sweat. It's not like a list question. I love Ask lists. you a list question. Rank your favorite strategy. Number one, Jago. Number two, Jago. <laughs> Jago. I might be getting you to state the obvious here, but what defines an always on campaign? Because it can't be, as the Italians say, verso l'infinito e oltre, which is infinity. Like, always on can't be on and on and on and on. So, what, what is it? I'm not entirely sure people online want to hear my opinion of an always on campaign. Okay. But they might want to hear about my three favorite Christmas films. Go on, go on. Sure. Yeah, go on. I'm trying to think. How do I define an always on? No, no, I want three favorite Christmas films. Number one, Home Alone 2. Number two, The Santa Claus. Number three, The Grinch. Number four, The Polar Express. And number five, Christmas with the Cranks. Easy. Were you at the paid social last night? That wasn't the paid social last night. That was a strategy social. Oh, sorry, I'm mixing my teams. Here we have the paid team. No, fuck, it's the wrong team again. <laughs> Here we have the design and strategy team that went out on a bender last night and are still hung over. Hair of the dog. Am I right? Oh, that's <laughs> fucking horrible. <laughs> what is that? We're just doing some work now. It's I want to... It's Black Friday this week. Like midnight tonight. Watch out your email inbox because you're going to get absolutely hammered with get 30% off for this day only sort of thing. Part of our job is that consultancy with clients and going, you're not doing a Black Friday offer, but you have campaigns running over that period. So you have to understand that because there's lots more advertisers advertising and pumping spend in, you are going to see an increase in costs over that period. If we don't lay that groundwork and explain what's happening in the market, and what is likely to happen with you know, CPMs and in the ad auction and stuff. I don't know anything about this, but I, I get the I get the idea mm. and someone that's watching that doesn't understand. How the fuck do you explain that? <laughs> <laughs> Most digital ads are bought on an auction basis. Someone with a gavel going 24p. It's a combination of how good is your ad and how much budget do you have will determine how many times your ad is shown or whether your ad is shown and in the primary placements and all that sort of stuff. And when you've got lots of advertisers all vying for getting ads in front of people okay. between 6 p.m. and 10 p.m. on Black Friday, you know, pretty prime times, it's gonna cost more to serve that ad. We tend to see Black Friday, Cyber Monday this weekend is a really expensive one. The run up to Christmas, if you're not doing a Christmas related campaign, probably from like the 18th, 19th of December, you're either gonna see click through rates go down or you're gonna see costs increase because everyone's just focused on Christmas related stuff. In the new year, it gets really interesting because in January we tend to see costs drop a bit because people have done all their holiday campaigns. So January is a really good opportunity for like holiday companies, gyms, recipe boxes, all of that sort of stuff because there's less competition and the inventory is a bit cheaper. So if you're one of those companies... Yeah, come on work with us. Come on work with us. And we'll just we'll take care of it and make it all happen. Phone number at the bottom of the screen, email at the top of the screen. On ring the now! Ring now! <laughs> discounts, 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 <laughs> discounts. Oh, you always give me fantastic content. I try. I try. You don't try. I think that's the point. <sighs> oh, it's one of them. It's a shadowy meeting. Hey, okay, let us run the business. I'll see you in a bit. If you need me, I'll be out there. <laughs> Reinvented design team as of this year. I feel like I'd be rude in not coming to ask you for summation of that training session, seeing as you were so wonderfully presenting it. We were doing a reintroduction to the design team. The reason being we've had a lot of changes this year. So what are the top two sig most significant changes? We've got two new design members. One is each of the biggest change. One is Daniel, our design manager, yep. and one is Angela in the US. I love what you guys do. Exciting times for the design team at the Co Agency. Good to hear. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's the Girls Library Union yeah. today, and nobody seems right. to care right. except for me. And I don't know. You're trying to avoid me? I've been around you long enough to know how to not get in your way. Quite a nice vibe in the office today. Yeah, isn't it? We've got entire teams in, I think that's why. And we have an entire team of founders. It's had a very good commercial exec meeting. What's on the agenda for that? I wrote the agenda actually. We basically walk through the biggest global clients and share success stories and or challenges, many of which are shared. So we walk through solutions and figure out how to 
grow the business ultimately. It's all about growth. Well, one of, our, growth. one of our three ambitions for 2024 is scale, scale, scale. <laughs> is that, who told you that? Uh, a presentation. Do you want me to outro the vlog with an inspirational quote? Yeah, please. Okay. Tomorrow is a mystery. Yesterday is history. And today is a gift. That is why they call it the present. And if that doesn't leave you with a smile on your faces, then you are chemically imbalanced. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Harry Hugo. Yield is Nick Cox just walked in. Yield is vanity. <laughs> Yield is vanity, profit is sanity. You like that? Do you agree with that, Scanners? Sorry, mate, what was it? I didn't listen either, so... <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> nah, I don't like that one. <laughs>